hey guys in this video we are going to be looking at stem cells what they are where they come from and then we're going to look at some technical details around stem cell therapy and how to write a good exam answer for this i'm going to take you through some techniques and what those command words actually mean this video is sponsored by Tuition Kit, which is a completely free platform that you can use to schedule all of your revision, all the revision videos, some of my videos up there, and loads of videos from other teachers and other great YouTubers as well. There is a link in the description down below. All cells start off the same as stem cells. These have the ability to differentiate into all of the different types of cells that we have. These differentiated cells all look and function very different to each other. For example, these cells all started off looking the same, but red blood cells, fat cells, muscle cells, white blood cells, sperm cells, and epithelial cells all look very different and they all are specialised to their function. We all start off looking the same. This is the very first photo that I have of my youngest child, just before he was an embryo. Technically, he's a five-day old blastocyst at this point, but this is what he looked like. After a sperm cell combines with an egg cell, an embryo develops. All of the cells in this are identical and undifferentiated. Different cells will receive different signals, turning certain genes on and off. This will determine how the cell differentiates. An embryo goes on to form all of the different cells tissues and organs within a body. There are still some stem cells left over when we get to adulthood. For example, the stem cells that are in bone marrow can go on to differentiate to become blood cells or cells from the immune system. There are also stem cells found in the brain, in eyes, in muscles, in skin, in the heart, or in the liver. These undifferentiated stem cells can only differentiate to become related differentiated cells. Plants also have stem cells in their meristems. These are at the tips of the roots and the shoots. These allow plants to grow. These will produce unspecialised cells which later differentiate and can be any cell type within a plant. Since stem cells can differentiate into other cell types, they can be transplanted to treat medical conditions such as spinal cord injury or paralysis or diabetes. These stem cells can come from adult stem cells which have a limited differentiation ability or they can come from embryonic stem cells which are hard to get hold of. For example, bone marrow from another adult can differentiate into cells from the immune system or types of blood cells meaning that stem cells from bone marrow can be used to treat lymphoma or leukemia. Patients own stem cells can be used which will prevent rejection and sometimes this will involve cord banking of the umbilical cord at birth. Should stem cells be used in medicine is an example long answer or six mark question that you might get in your GCSE exam. Whenever you see a should it is a question that can't be answered by science alone. There are lots of other things we need to take into account. It is always worth taking one minute of your time to plan your answer. 
If the question is an advantage, disadvantage question, then just draw a little table like this. You might also get a question which says compare or discuss the social, ethical and clinical uses of stem cells in medicine. Just make sure you can jot down enough points so that you have a balanced answer. Don't just give six advantages or six disadvantages or six ethical considerations and ignore the other parts of the question. You won't get the full marks. And don't repeat points with different wordings. Don't put something as an advantage over here and then reword it as a disadvantage over here. You're saying the same thing twice and you won't get the marks. If the question has the command word evaluate, you will need a good point, you will need a bad point, you will need to give your opinion and then you will need to justify your opinion. I think that stem cells should be used in medicine because this. If you do not justify your answer, you will not be able to access the higher level of marks. Here are a few social issues that you need to consider when talking about stem cells. Cost. These are very expensive treatments to develop and they will only be used on a limited number of people. Should this money be spent developing something that will be used on more people? Because of the cost and the specialist nature, private companies are the ones who are generally developing this. Will they be open with their results? Will they be willing to share their data with other companies or will they try and keep things behind closed doors? It is very complicated when we are talking about ethical issues. Embryonic stem cells work best, but where do they come from? These can be leftover embryos after IVF, ones that could just be thrown away otherwise. Or they could be embryos that are created specifically for this purpose. These embryos have the potential to develop into a human being, the potential to develop life. At what point do we lose the right to create embryos, to destroy an embryo, when and if do we need to consider the embryo's life and the embryo's rights? I am not going to tell you what the correct answer is here because it is personal opinion. You have to be very clear about this when you are writing this in the exam. And there are some clinical issues for you to think about. There is very little to no data on the long-term impact of stem cell therapy. And it is an experimental therapy, so there is no guarantee it will work after spending tens, hundreds of thousands of pounds. If there was a mutation in the stem cell, say that was used to treat leukemia, then this could be passed on to the person receiving the treatment and could potentially have worse effects.